this is the beginning of a fourth day, and this is Natori City Yuriyake. Yeah. Again. We see the destruction that the tsunami caused. We're going to try to measure maybe in that little hill over there. And here we see how they've already started piling lots of the rubbish up after the tsunami. So here we're at the we're at the Natori River mouth. See yeah, the entrance of the river. from over here have been washed over this car park area. The area where we saw before, which was heavily eroded, essentially the difference between that area and of course, this area has a revetment. Well, under it, there's a jet textile. So the damage was fairly limited. But in that area, there appears to be no, no revetment. Now we're in Sendai Airport, normally this is the train station of the airport. You can see the marks of the tsunami water, tsunami inundation height. And of course the airport is still closed. A lot of... Yeah, that's scary. A lot of tidying uh, up has already happened. It's normally Sendai is a city of uh, over 1 million people, I believe. Maybe 1 or 2 million people. And this would normally be the domestic arrivals. You can see here some a lot of army trucks. We're at the top of the river embankment, and we can see here that in this point and another point over there Islamic force got, uh, was concentrated by bend the river, I think and it broke on top of this wall so and that's why maybe the damage over in that location to the houses was much bigger than in this area Now we're in Torino Umi Coen here you can see how the tsunami came from the sea and destroyed a lot of the flood defences. So here you see that this was a horizontal, that's the area where Matsumari, Dr. Matsumari is standing. So this has been destroyed probably by like the corrosion on the backside. And in this area there was a return wall and like return walls, like you see over there in the distance. But um, these have been destroyed in all this area by the tsunami. So over there you see how they continue. And you can see some pieces here. In various locations. You can see how the tsunami has flattened this coastal forest. Most of the trees have disappeared in this area. So here, there's some evidence that some of these armor units, which are in front of this, this flooding protection, were actually taken by the tsunami and carried over to the area behind. So we can see here, for example, here, here, here. Um, 
next to the Yeah, you can see what the structure looks like that failed, about the structure and failure mode. So there's a wall, some sort of like vertical wall at the beginning, and there was a flat surface, which as you can see here, measured to be still 4 meters, 4.3 meters. If we take into account the thickness of that wall over there. And then the height of the wall is around well here you can see i want it to incline like this it's 2.36 meters so probably a bit less maybe 2.2 meters or something been almost completely destroyed. Here we're at the coastline of Somasaki. What's happening is in front of the beach they've placed huge layers of well armor units, these kind of armor units. And then there was after that there was this kind of coastal dike and at several points it's now completely smashed through. had tsunami energy concentrated and created this kind of damage. And another one, another small one there, but it's not clear if this one's natural or the tsunami actually managed to rupture the previous units. And if you the forest, look at the effect behind this area. Dramatic. Huge damage just behind it. So we're just testing the quality of the base con concrete and it's not very good. So basically this construction had some stones. These stones can be easily eroded by tsunami. There's some low quality concrete at the bottom of it, but that can be easily the tsunami can easily go through that. Then all the material starts to get eroded from under the structure. And then finally the, the structure collapses as you see here.
some local failure of these units by tsunami. So there's been a few of them have been dragged a little bit further away by the tsunami, but not very dramatic. Definitely not compared to what's happened behind, hence another area. It's been damaged just behind these things. 